Hello. Okay. Sorry. Hey, everyone. Uh, <laughs> I tried something new, and I think I'm on. I'm trying to do this through Zoom because tomorrow we have a guest uh, who's going to be sharing a devotional, uh, but the guest person is not on um, Facebook. And so I just wanted to see if I could get this person to share a devotional by using Zoom and then putting it on the Facebook. And it looks like maybe yes. Um, okay. So um, anyways, today uh, I wanted to uh, talk about um, lamenting uh, a little bit. And um, all right, so there I've got, sorry, I got the Facebook over here and then Zoom um, right here. It's really um, good for us to, to do some lament and I thought maybe it'd be a little bit interactive. Um, so I hope that this, I hope I'll be able to keep up you know, with, with all this and kind of do some things live. But anyways, um, you know, we've been in this uh, coronavirus, not really a lockdown, but uh, social isolating. Maybe some of us have done some um, quarantining of ourselves if we've been in contact or been overseas or whatever. Uh, but uh, we're in this uh, social isolation. It looks like things are easing up a little bit, although the rules are still in place. And I think uh, it'd be helpful for us to to lament. And, um, and so I was thinking about this the other day, and then just last night in my Twitter feed, uh, I got this uh, article from a theologian called N.T. Wright that talked about uh, lament, and I thought this is perfect timing. And so uh, what he says is, uh, when we talk about lament, it's good for us to realize that this is not the same as complaining. Um, this is uh, lament is a form of praise. Did you realize that? Like a lot of the Psalms, he says up to two thirds of all of the Psalms, which is considered worship and a praise hymnal, right, is lament, which is different than complaining. When complaining, we're we're um, we're saying gripes and we're um, um, we're we're kind of attacking God's character. But when we lament, um, we're appealing to God's character and say, look, this is the situation. God, you are loving, you are merciful, you are compassionate. We know all this about you. And so we, we lay our lament before him. And so, so many uh, of the Psalms, which are considered praise and worship, uh, are filled with lament. And so lament is a form of praise. And so right now, I'm just going to try an interactive thing. Hey, what, what are some things that you lament right now? What are some things that you're missing? What are some things that uh, maybe you're hoping for and now, you know, that it's not happening? And so I'm going to put some comments in there. Um, and uh, then obviously people who are watching this live can do this live and others who are watching it later, you can add your comments as well um, as you watch it. So I think I, that is, um, Traveling, right. So I put, uh, you know, graduation is, uh, we don't know if that's happening for Isaiah grade 12. Also, uh, there's no uh, sports. And so someone asked me the other day, what's something that brings me joy? And as well, often watching my kids play sports brings me joy, but that's not happening now. So I had to think of another idea. And so I lament not having that. I lament not uh, going out for coffee. Oh, hey, Karen, you and I said the same thing. Not, I miss going out for coffee. Yeah, visiting people in person for sure. What are some other things that, that you that you miss or that you are lamenting at this time? Go ahead and put them up there on that stream. Um, oh, for sure, Micah. Yeah, your dad. We miss your dad too. And also seeing friends for sure. So I'm going to keep talking and you can go ahead and keep posting in there. What are, what are some things that you lament? And remember, we're not complaining. We're just saying, God, we, we know you're compassionate. We, we know you're merciful. And here's the situation okay, that, that we're in. Um, lament, um, when, when you lament like this, when, when you say your things that you're, you mourn or you miss or you're grieving, when you say it to God, it proves that you have a relationship with God going to work. Exactly. Yeah, that's another thing we missed. Thanks, Julina. Um, because you see, uh, lament is a form of, it proves you have a relationship. Um, 
otherwise we wouldn't, why would we say anything? And so there was uh, something I read about uh, someone visited an orphanage somewhere uh, in another country and there's all these babies, uh, but none of the babies were crying. And he thought that was so odd. But then he realized that the babies had learned there's no use to cry because there's nobody there to answer them. And so they, they didn't have a relationship with the kids. They were abandoned or whatever the situation was. And so, so crying, is actually a form that there's someone there that can hear me and can answer me. And so there's a relationship. Right? And so when we lament, we are showing that we have a relationship with God. And so go ahead and, and, and let it out and let God know how you're feeling. Remember, we're not, we're not attacking his character. We're appealing to his character of love and mercy. And as the Psalms show us too, and there, there's so many laments, it's also a way to get closer uh, to God, uh, being honest with him. And and studying said, so this is, you know, I miss this. And God, would you, you can do something about this. You know, can, can you do something, please? You know, help us. You know, I, I, I don't have a job. Right? I, I miss my father. Uh, all these things that you, you've listed. And uh, I, I don't have joy from watching my kids play sports. I don't know what's going to be. Is there summer Bible camp going to be happening? Uh, all sorts of things. And so you, uh, it brings you closer to the guy. Just let it out. Lament. Lament is, is a way to show you have a relationship with God. It's a kind of praise. Most of the Psalms are laments, or two thirds at least. <clears throat> also then, lament is also a way for us to pray. We're asking God to act. We have had several prayer meetings <clears throat> already about coronavirus and asking God, will you please act, you know, get, give us a, a, a vaccine you know, sooner than it normally takes to get a vaccine and protect us and, and all these sorts of things. And so we're lamenting is a way to pray. We're asking God to act. Just like uh, throughout the Old Testament, you know, they were they were in exile. They were living in a land that was not their own, but they were lamenting. And they said, you know, we used to have this, and we used to, we used to have this big temple and, uh, and all sorts of other things. So God, please act. So make these uh, laments, you know, uh, into an act. Show, show God that, that you know we can cry out to him. And that we do have a relationship with him. And uh, so this is um, the way for us to lament. And uh, as if those of you who are uh, not watching live, if you want to add some comments or read some of ours, that would be wonderful too. Now, as you read a lot of the songs, most of the songs that have laments finish with um, praise. So they, they've gone through a list of things that they're lamenting. And then they end uh, knowing that God is good. We know that God is faithful, he keeps his promises. And also we know uh, that through uh, Jesus' victory on the cross, that there is victory. And any, any grief we have right now is, is temporal, temporary, uh, however long it lasts. It's okay to ask, you know, how long is this gonna be? We have a future, we have a hope. And so as you lament, um, as you cry out to God, ask him to help uh, finish with, with focusing on on Jesus, focusing on his goodness. And um, it doesn't mean your problems are gonna be solved. It doesn't mean everything's gonna be better and all your tears are gonna be wiped away immediately, but but focus on, on Jesus and what he did for us and on the future hope uh, that we have. And then the next day you can do it all over again. So lamenting is, is good for us. It's good for our souls. It's good to um, cry out to God um, based on his character not attacking his character. And so I hope this was a little bit helpful for you and maybe you can, um, I'm sure you've got other things. And uh, I'm just gonna pray right now because um, I just, I haven't prayed in my other devotionals, but I'd like to do that, so. Hey God, you are so good, compassionate and gracious. And I love the fact that we can cry out to you because it shows we have a relationship with you. And um, some of these, you know, laments that were listed here, um, missing things and, and having people gone in our lives now. I, I ask that you would come and fill those spaces that are now left as holes and fill them with your love, fill them with your compassion, fill them with more of you. And, and let us know that there is hope and Jesus has won the victory. And one day all of this will be destroyed and replaced with only good. So thank you, amen. Hey, thanks for being patient at the beginning. Oh, I'm looking over at my stream. Okay, it looks good. So anyways, hey, tomorrow, 
I'm going to try this. We have a guest speaker, uh, Wes Thiessen, uh, actually said. So there, I, he has to know because I said it on Facebook. He's going to share a devotional, and uh, it'll be through this kind of Zoom method. But you won't see any difference. It'll still be on Facebook Live. So we'll see you uh, tomorrow, 9.45.